From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, not a bad day out there today. We did see some of those high clouds pass through in advance of the next storm system that's going to be moving on through here tomorrow. Now, it's going to be kind of interesting tomorrow because there will be periods of time when some of us may see some light showers. And then once you see those showers pass, you're done. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. Should be dry and mild, though, for your Thanksgiving day. And really, our next chance for rain after tomorrow is going to be at the end of the month or probably early December, sometime within that time frame. So there you can see some of the clouds that did pass through today. There's going to be more activity coming in from the west. And that's what's going to be bringing us that chance for showers. So let's kind of take a look at that travel forecast here. And you can see this is the main band of moisture, the main band of rain. So we go into tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So if you're heading northward, you see how it's just very light, some scattered light showers here in Oregon at this point. So if you're leaving early in the morning tomorrow, just be aware that, yeah, you may have to use those windshield wipers a couple of times, maybe put them on intermittent mode because that's pretty, pretty much going to be the extent of it, as you can see here. Then we go through the day on Wednesday. You see how it just kind of pushes southward. Now, it looks like it picks up a little bit in intensity as it does move down to the south. And that may be the case, but even so, I think a future cast may be overdoing it just a little bit. But this is tomorrow at 4 p.m., and we're seeing that line here moving it through Northern California. So the coast seeing showers, parts of Trinity County, Siskiyou and Modoc County. But you'll notice northward in Oregon, Washington, it's dry and it will be dry. So as you go through the afternoon on Wednesday, Oregon and Washington will be looking at drier conditions. As we go into the evening hours for Northern California, chances for showers increase. But see how as you move down to the south and east here, it breaks apart as it moves through the valley. So by the time we get into the evening hours, I think Modoc County, Siskiyou, everyone will be dry with the exception of maybe out in eastern Lassen County around Susanville. That's tomorrow night at 10 p.m. You can see the main area of low pressure right here, colder air, that's where the snow is. That is going to kind of dive down to the south and all of the rain and snow will be off to our east. There may be some light snow over the Sierra, but you'll notice Northern California, northward is dry and all the way down into Southern California, it's looking dry as well. If you're heading eastward, kind of off in this region here, yeah, you may be dealing with some snow and maybe some chain requirements, uh, but of course you can see some heavier snow off to the east here. But looking pretty good for our region here. Now we look at the rainfall totals, just kind of give you an idea. It's not expected to be much, as I mentioned here. We're talking a few hundredths of an inch of rain here and there, uh, maybe some heavier amounts out towards places like Weaverville and Hayfork, but that's it. That's the extent of it. But I do want to mention that once that main band of rain, that cold front passes through, the winds will pick up on Thanksgiving Day. So it's going to be breezy, borderline windy, depending on where you are in the valley and not to mention the eastern foothills. It won't be as bad for the mountains, but the winds will pick up there a little bit as well. But we're talking about some gusty winds making their way uh, for your Thanksgiving Day. And this will probably last into your Friday and most likely even through the weekend with those gusty winds, but at least it will still be dry. So if you're planning to travel after Thanksgiving on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, it's dry for you. Not to mention Monday of next week, we're still looking at dry conditions from all the way from Washington, all the way down to Southern California. But again, I'm watching some activity way off to our west that could potentially have an impact on our weather late next week, maybe sometime early December. Here is a look at your travel forecast for your Wednesday. As mentioned, I think we could see some showers here uh, through midday, but boy, as you head into the uh, afternoon, it should be dry for Washington and Oregon, but some of those showers possibly making their way into parts of Northern California by late in the day on Wednesday. Now we take a look at Thursday. Look how cold it's going to be, especially off to the north and east. So temperatures are dropping, especially eastward here, but it will be dry. There could be some patchy fog, especially in the morning hours on Thanksgiving morning, but by the afternoon, that fog should most likely burn off. Let's take you down to the south for your Wednesday. Of course, it's dry, looking at temperatures eventually reaching somewhere in the upper 70s for your Wednesday. So some gorgeous weather down over Southern California if you're heading there. You take you out to Thursday, 
Thanksgiving Day, still some gorgeous weather down into Southern California, but we're beginning to see a few more clouds uh, make their way into the region. Okay, so here is a, a look at your wave heights. They've increased this afternoon. They'll probably increase a little bit more going into your Wednesday as well. So we look at your marine forecast. There is going to be the potential for some drizzle and some light showers, but overall shouldn't be too terribly wet with north winds at about 5 to 10 knots. Okay, so here's a look at your forecast for tonight. It's actually getting pretty cool. I think we'll drop down to the upper 30s, low 40s for the valley. We're talking 20s and 30s for the eastern mountains and into Modoc County. Mainly in the 30s for Siskiyou County. That's also the case for Trinity County, but low to mid 40s inland and not to mention those low to mid 40s out along the coast as well tonight. For tomorrow, well, you can see the clouds will be on the increase. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy. Showers will, will be mainly in the morning here, and then or actually more like the afternoon to the north and east, and then eventually by tomorrow night, we're looking at most of the rain down towards Susanville. But yeah, a chance for showers for almost everyone, at least at some point in the day tomorrow, especially late in the day. And there's a very good chance that, you know, the valley will most likely stay dry, but we could see a passing sprinkle, uh, but it's dry and it's a very moisture starved storm system. So just not much in the way of rain. So looking at your seven day outlook, of course, there's that chance for showers mainly in the mountains. Thanksgiving day looking dry, but cooling off, especially after Thanksgiving. Looking at your seven day outlook for the valley. Again, keeping temperatures mainly in the upper 60s for your Wednesday and Thursday, but then we're back down to low 60s. Notice the breezy conditions uh, coming back for Thanksgiving Day, Friday, and not to mention Saturday. And that may even make its way into Sunday as well with those gusty winds. Your seven day outlook for the coast looks like those temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s for the most part, but inland we're dropping down to the low 60s as we take you into pretty much uh, Saturday, excuse me, Thursday and Friday, all the way through the weekend. And for Weaverville, and not to mention Trinity County in general, in the 50s by the time we get into Friday.